Hi, in the last session, we made some high level overview of the protocol layers. In this session, we will talk about the open distribution unit and some of the functionalities of ODU. So far, we seen that open distribution unit have some responsibilities of layer 1 functions as well as some of the L2 layer functionalities. L1 or layer 1 is the physical layer and understanding of resource allocations in the physical layer like in the time domain and frequency domain is very important. In this session, we will be talking about that and in the upcoming session, we will cover the different type of channels like control channels and shared channels etc. and control signals. We will also talk about how the data and signals being transferred between layers and provide end-to-end -end connectivity in the downlink and uplink. Okay, let's see how the physical layer looks like in the time and frequency domain. This structure is 5G physical layer structure and numerology is 15 kHz. So you can see here that each and every resource is distributed individually in the time and frequency domain. For reference, view from the top is the time domain and view from the side is the frequency domain. One system frame is of 10 seconds and we are considering one subframe here which is of 1 second. This subframe again subdivided into slots and these number of slots are depends on the numerologies in the 5G that you can see from the table in the screen. Note that each slot consists of 14 OFDM symbols. So numerology 0, subcarrier spacing is 15 kHz. This is same as in LTE. Number of slots per subframe is 1, number of symbols per slot is 14, so you can calculate the total number of symbols per subframe easily. I have listed them in the table already. The total RB size also calculated in the last. So for numerology 1, subcarrier spacing is 30 kHz, number of slots per subframe is 2, symbols per slot is 14, and total symbols in the subframe is 28. RB size would be twice of 180 means 360 kHz. Similarly, for numerology 2, subcarrier spacing is 60 kHz, number of slots per subframe is 4, symbols per slot again 14, hence total symbols per subframe is 56 and RB size would be 720 kHz. Similarly, you can map for numerology 3 and 4 and for later releases 2. To have the better understanding of physical layer mapping, there is must to understand the concept of basic building blocks of the resource blocks which I would be covering separately so you can stay tuned for the updates by subscribing us and do not forget to press the bell icon too. But in short, each resource block builds from the slot in the subframe means in the time domain and 12 of carriers in the frequency domain. These resource blocks are distributed among the different type of logical signals, control signals and shared channels etc. Like you can see the PSS primary synchronization signal and SSS secondary synchronization signal and PBCH physical broadcast channel etc. These are being used for the initial access procedures as PSS and SSS being used for the cell search procedures and identification, radio frame timing information etc. MIP master information block is carried through the PBCH channel which is required for UE to access the network. Beyond here, all the signals and channels you see in the picture are being served by the ODU Open Distribution Unit. This include PDCCH, Physical Downlink Control Channel, which is being used for DCI, Downlink Control Information. It carries scheduling information, HARC information, etc. PDSCH, Physical Downlink Shared Channel, used for carry the user data and also for the SIP messages. There are more channels too for sync like DMRS, Demodulation Reference Signal, which is used to have the estimate of the other channels like PBCH, PDSCH, PDCCH. Another is CSIRS, Channel State Information Reference Signal, which is used for CQI calculations, recoding matrix, rank indicator information, link adaption information, etc. In the next session, we will be talking about physical layer architecture of ODU, so stay tuned for the updates. If you did not subscribe till now, then please do subscribe to learn and grow community for regular updates. If this video is informative, then please like this video, comment on video and don't forget to share. Thank you for watching.